asking my roommate Elizabeth what she thinks these mini purple squishies are made for. Like a little mattress. And if so, let's say you have a child that's like between six and 12 years old, you can have them like sleep on the mattress. Wait, not the child, the little dolls they have. <laughs> We're gonna set up some camping little. It's like it's like we're in like a cabin, and these are our little bunk beds. But they're no one. They're not stacked on top of each other. And then we can all just hang out together. Pro tip, best place to hide money? Now the only people who can steal from you are people with taste. I closed my shop for two weeks to give myself a mental break because things were just getting so hectic. Thankfully, the time off filled me up with so much creativity and so much energy. I think I might have gone a little bit overboard because look at all the cups i worked on anyhow look at how beautiful all the new designs we have added to our shop i think this is the largest custom cup launch we've ever had if you'd like to check out any designs our shop is linked in our bio and remember we now offer wholesale about two weeks ago my life changed a month ago i was so ready to quit my small business because i wasn't getting any sales on my etsy shop until someone posted a photo of my boba soap and the comments and followers were flowing into my Instagram. I was so shocked that people actually liked my product. I started getting so many Etsy orders and now I have three Etsy best-selling listings. That's something I never ever thought would happen and to think two weeks before all I wanted to do was quit. Now I'm working every day working to make more boba soaps and I'm so ready to expand my business and create new soaps that I hope people will like. I hope my story can prove to everyone that even if your small business isn't working, that just go a little bit longer, just go a little bit farther. You never know what will happen. I hope your small business works out. I have so many business stories, so follow me for more. When I first launched my business, even some of my closest friends had nothing to say. They didn't necessarily support me, meaning like or share my content or even ask me how it was going with the brand. They just kind of, you know, stayed silent. And at first I took offense to it, but then I quickly realized it is normal human behavior. They had never seen someone try to accomplish something so ambitious. It was just easier for them to stay quiet and hope that it wouldn't go anywhere significant. And then I started to not take it personal. I just kept going and going. And if this happens to you, you'll find that you will meet people and friends that get it, that know where you're coming from, that believe in you, that want to help, ones that cheer you on. And trust me, when it comes, friends like that, you grow with them, you evolve with them.
don't wanna sleep in Cause I got something to prove I gotta take what I hate and finally make a move I think of you and all the shit you don't do Well I'ma make hella shit that I don't become you I have no regrets, yeah